Okay, a quick little remote update. So on the back. What's up, everybody? Daddy's filming, and I'm Riley. WG. I don't know what your rwgresearch.com. Research. <laughs> <laughs> I always get the mixed up. This is the intro to the video because uh, really so tell us a brief <laughs> like ten second what are we doing? Um well you trying to find a battery to fit in there. You bought one but you want it to recharge fast. And so you find a you found a battery, it doesn't fit in there your um something's leaking. Are you gonna tell them the whole video? Or are you just gonna tell them what the video's about? He's trying to find, he took it apart, he's trying to find a battery to fit in there. Where? Into the remote. For what? To fly it. Fly what? Our airplane. Oh, okay. So that's <laughs> what this video is about. Ah, yeah. alright. Let's jump into it. Bye. <laughs> so on the back of this guy, there's a, uh, a tag here. It looks like that. And apparently that means it was made before 2017. And uh, that also means that we have to send it back to the company to have it repaired if we wanted to use the lithium-ion battery adapter. So, I kind of do, uh, which means we're going to have to add some uh, extra stuff here. So, there's an old battery from a, from a vacuum cleaner, and it has a charge controller built right into it. And normally, on a battery that is of this type so let's say for instance this is a 3.7 volt battery it's only got two wires coming out there's not a charge controller in here there's a safety uh, stuff built in but it's not really a charge controller this you hooked up 12 volts to it and it literally is a charge controller so that's pretty cool however this battery only has two plugs on it this was the one that I bought with the remote which was dead when I got it so I don't really trust this is a good pack at all but it does have the plug on it and there's no plug for the back of the receiver for this hole. So in the old, uh, in the quote-unquote old days, you basically take this battery out, put it in uh, the remote, and then when you want to recharge it, you unplug it and recharge it. That's a pain in the butt. So they give you this adapter for four AA batteries, and it also plugs into the remote. However, I'd like to use a bigger battery pack and, uh, you know, something. So all these packs that I got, which I just happen to have a few batteries, there's my few batteries, yeah, yeah, anyway. So I have these batteries, and I wanted to use lithium iron phosphate, but really they're the wrong voltage. So I'm gonna use these lithium batteries, lithium ion batteries, and here I found one that's a 3.7, but it's probably dead. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this charge controller off here, and I'm gonna take apart one of these 3.7 packs that I know is probably good, and uh, basically take this charge controller, put it in there. The charge controller already has a plug on it, so it'll fit right in this hole, which is pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to stick this out the back so we can charge it with the charge controller with a much bigger battery. This is a 2000 milliamp hour. This is a brick which won't actually fit in there, um, but the three wire one that almost fits, it's a 3100 milliamp hour. So. I'm going to try to scavenge some batteries, use this charge controller from an old battery, this one's dead, and uh, yeah, stick it inside there and have a charge plug on the back. Sweet! Okay, here's what we got. I took off one cell of each one of these packs. I had two of these packs, they were three wide, but couldn't get them in there, so they're one-third less the capacity now, but that's fine, they're in parallel. These two are in series, and then they're connected through the charge controller board so that we don't blow anything up. And I just used the original uh, DC jack out of the uh, uh, vacuum cleaner that those old batteries came out of. This battery here I don't really trust. I did take it apart, and it does also have a charge controller. You can see that these wires go to different places, keeping these balanced. So that's nice to know that this pack does have that in there. However, this is a 2000 milliamp hour. If these batteries are still good, which to be honest, we'll have to test them over time, this should be about 2400 milliamp hours or so. Uh, this number represents all three batteries, and since I took off one third, it's a little less. Anyway, this should work great. I took the plug uh, off of this battery, that's why I took this apart, and I'll be using the 
battery tray as a battery backup in case I get to the field and need to replace it. Um, I could take this out. I guess I should put a plug on here if I wanted to do that. But anyway, I think this will work. Let's see what we get if we put it in there. And there you go. Took a little double sided sticky tape, put it on the back of the batteries and on the charge board after I wrapped them in Kapton. And uh, I'll put a little bit of foam in there to keep everything in place. But pop this on there, it works pretty well. Doop. So, anyway, cool. I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about. Where are we going? No, when are you going to start the video? Oh, I started it. Oh. But this is the end of the video. The end of the video we already started two days ago. Okay. So, I want to tell you what I did to the remote after you went to bed. Okay. I adjusted this thing, thing in here. You gotta stand up. Cause you can't see you. I adjusted this thing in here to make this like drag. You mean stay and not. Yeah, and go then and then I tightened and it and I pushed it out the back, so I gotta take it apart and fix that. But I also fixed this. Yes. Okay. Was so, it just the gears that were the, I mean the bearings? The bearings. So I took those bearings apart. You took them apart? Yeah. Okay. And I cleaned them out. I I cleaned them good. And I put them back together. How do you do that? You'll have to watch the video. So, I wanted to get it done because I was in a hurry. So I just did it real quick. And it took me many hours. But I did it. And now it works. So, what I tried to do then is get these two to connect together. They work? Back over here. So this one, I turn it on, shows the battery voltage. Okay, it's the same way, so it's set up the same way. Um, this one just has the, the just normal batteries. Yeah, and then it's got a trainer link right here. Remember, I told you about that. Yeah. But I told you I tried to get a wireless, the wireless trainer. Okay. So you hold that. Please don't drop this. Um, now, if I, if I go here, you can see my sticks, see them? Yeah, is that, oh yeah. Okay, this monitors the remote, that's what this does, okay? I think, uh, yeah, this one back here is the gear. One What's of these. This? That one. You don't have that one. But you do have the gear. That's the gear. Channel 5. Oh. So, see the THR? The throttle. Throttle. A I L. Aileron. E L E. Elevator. R U D. Now, I keep calling it the tell. It's actually called the rudder. Oh, the rudder. Yeah, and then the GER is the, the gear. gear. And then AUX1 is auxiliary. Which I don't have one. Yeah. So, what I did, okay, what I did was figure out how to get this one connected to this one. Okay. So, this switch right here, right here, yeah. if I'm flying and I flip this switch like that, control it you can actually control it so you can see what I'm doing yeah down, up, down. and then when you freak out I can just take over and then you don't have any control anymore and then I have to turn this back off and I turn it back on and now I give you the I give you the uh, because anything past 25% uh, throttle I'd make it beep so I know where my throttle is at it's an audio indicator of where my throttle is I'm controlling See that? 
Now if I just touch a stick, move those around. If, if I just touch one, no, you have no longer have control, and now I have full control again. How cool is that? So, I can't control it if I switch. No, that, that, that switch does nothing for you. It doesn't even work. But it works. Oh, but, you're just supposed to hold it. Yeah, you're supposed to hold it. Um, so here's the deal. This receiver thinks, or transmitter, thinks it's talking to one of these. It has absolutely no idea it's not talking to a receiver. Instead, it's talking to another remote, which then is taking control of my remote and then talking to a receiver. So, so because this is a low-range product and we can't really fly too far with it, no. this is a long-range product, and you're just standing next to me, and it has a broken antenna anyway, which doesn't matter, but I taped it on there. So, so that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> so if I flip this, now you have control. And what's really cool is if I don't want you to have like the throttle, let's say I wanted you to give give you the ailerons, the elevator, and the rudder. You mean this and this? Yeah. Let's say I just wanted to give you that, but I did not want you to, to play with this one. Okay? You mean even if I moved it up here? Yeah. If that's if that's the case, okay, I can go. Oh, I'm controlling it. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I can go to um, system setup, and I can go in here to trainer, and I can actually turn on and off which ones I want you to control. So if I turn off the throttle, okay, now we're gonna go back. To there. Okay. We'll go back to here so you can see it. Okay, now I have the throttle. So I'm gonna set the throttle like here, okay? And then I'm gonna I'm now, gonna yeah. give you control. Oh, I can still move stuff. You can control the ones I wanted you to control. You mean I can only control these three? Yeah, the aileron, the elevator, and the rudder, but you cannot control the throttle. I can actually control the throttle see, while you can... while you control that. Try it. Did it work? Yeah, I'm controlling the So rudder. I can play with the throttle while you play with something else. So it would be like, <laughs> if we play We can like, team up. <laughs> then it would be like, <laughs> Yeah, so I'll, I'll play with the throttle and not tell you what I'm doing, and you'll be like, why is it not working? Wouldn't that be funny? So anyway, that's pretty That's pretty cool. So at the we same, actually got that working. Yeah, so at the same time I'm controlling, you're controlling those. How cool is that? It's awesome. Right? It's awesome. That's a good response. Now I took control back because I flipped a different control. I love the sound of this makes. So anyway, if you turn, if you, so right now you have control. Okay, if you turn this off, this will yell no at me. No slave. Slave. Oh, no slave. This is the master. That's the slave in this case. <laughs> mm -hmm. Next there. How come you have so to anyway. Do this? I have to go on today. Anyway, what do you think about that? I'm excited to fly. It's pretty cool, right? Oh, you're so a pretty, changer. pretty fancy remotes. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'm happy about that. You are. Now, now we're once we get plane. our big planes up in the air, we'll be like, we stop get, yeah. propeller. Work. <laughs> it's gonna be so fun. So I'm gonna get that one down and weigh it, and then I want to get that one in the air. Because it needs some work. Oh, you hang that one up. This one is I don't know what about that one. That one it does, ties it doesn't have a, doesn't have a play. tail. It's just gonna be play. Kind of it it doesn't have a tail. It needs to be rewrapped. There's a lot of bit of work to that one. That one's almost done. We got to rewrap the wings. That one it was well. This one and this one we found it at the fly park and it's uh, got some problems. So anyway, we'll see you on the next one. Any last words? I am excited. Yeah, it is pretty I'm exciting. I'm excited to get my plane. Yeah, well, tell me about your plane. Pretzel nuts. <laughs> Pretzel nuts. No, nutty buddy. But anyway, Dexter, <laughs> nutty buddy. Dexter for his birthday, you're making a mess of my shout, by the way. Dexter just recently <laughs> got a plane that I ordered, and mm -hmm. it has everything built except for it needs a receiver and uh, the battery. And those mm -hmm. are the only two things. Otherwise, it's like pre-built. And it'll work with these remotes, which is gonna be awesome. So we can call, we can control quite a few planes. 
Yeah, you can do 256 this. models on there. I can set that many different modes of models, so when I pick a model, it knows how I configured the model. Wait, like, models as, like, a plane? Like, your model will have a different configuration setting than, like, Riley's model or my model. How much planes can you, like, make it on here? 250... 250? 256. I think 250. Oh, 256. Holy, holy. Yeah, we were never going to have that many as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> We'll crash too many of them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bye. Bye.